G'day everyone, Ian Fegan here, also known as Professor Shoelace. Today's video is how to tie the continuous loop drawstrings that you sometimes see on sweatpants or tracky dacks as we call them in Australia. Now, unlike regular drawstrings that have two separate ends to work with, and which most people just use their regular shoelace knot, these are complicated by the fact that the ends are looped together. So we need a slightly modified technique. Now my hint is to pretend that you've got the two loose ends and just leave all of that draped out of the way. So I begin by crossing my left end over the right end, tucking it and pulling tight. Now before I pull completely tight, I'll show you where we're up to. We've got our starting knot, we've got what's effectively the two loose ends and those ends join together in the middle of the knot. I'm going to ignore all of that bottom section and just focus on the top section. I'll grab what's effectively the two loose ends and pull tight to tighten the starting knot. Now most people would create one loop and wrap the other end around and pull through. Now what I'm creating that loop with, I'm not using the whole loop, half of it is still draped out of the way there. Similarly, the end that I'm wrapping around, I'm not wrapping this whole thing around, I'm just using that top part, which is the equivalent of the loose end. So we wrap it around and pull through like a regular shoelace knot, and it forms a regular bow, except instead of the loose ends, those loose ends wrap around in a figure eight or an infinity symbol and join together underneath the knot. Now, ignoring that bit under the knot, it's this bit, these opposite ends, that are the bits that we pull to loosen the knot. So we've got effectively a standard shoelace knot, um, except for the um, bit that feeds under the knot. Other people use what we call a two-loop knot. Again, not created with the whole of the two loops, only with those top sections cross the loops, feed one through, pull tight. Same thing. Could instead use my Ian's knot, the world's fastest shoelace knot. But what I'm going to show you here is a version of my Ian's secure shoelace knot. And I'll start at the beginning. Begin with the two loose ends, leave all that just draped out of the way, cross the left end over the right end, so it's left over the right, tuck and pull tight, pull everything else out of the way. Now I'm still holding on to these parts here, form two loops, cross the right loop over the left loop and we'll take this end here, end of the loop, which is now on the right, Tuck that round the front and through the hole in the middle. Take the left loop, tuck it round the back through the hole in the middle. And holding on to the ends of both loops, we just pull tight. What we end up with is this nice, cure double wrap around the middle. As I pull the knot tighter, you'll see that the part that goes under the knot, that sort of figure eight or infinity, gets smaller and you can adjust that to any size you like. You can make it the same size, you can make this smaller or you can leave those loops smaller. Either way you end up with a very secure knot that you once again pull these parts of the infinity to loosen the knot. I'll show it to you once more from start to finish. Just create two loose ends, left end over the right end, tuck and pull tight, create two loops, right loop over the left loop. It's important to do this the opposite way of the starting knot in order for the finished result to be secure. And tuck both loops through the hole in the middle from opposite sides and pull tight and adjust to however you like it. So that's the Ian Secure shoelace knot adapted for 
sweatpants or um, continuous loop drawstrings. If you want more information about the Ian Secure Shoelace Knot or about 20 other different shoelace knots, you can go to Ian's Shoelace site. Thanks for watching and enjoy the knot.